Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group A Round 2 match. I'm going to call him K-Fog because it's easier. It's very hard to pronounce his name correctly. He's a man of many names. He's K-Fog, he's PTK, he's Big Kev, he's Past Tense K-Fog. He's, he's got a million names. Call, you can call him anything you like. He's a legend, one of the best players to have ever played Blood Bowl. And uh, he's up against Blue Max with his Necromantic. I can tell you how they both qualified here. Um, KFOG qualified through the Season 5 official playoffs and uh, PC. Blue Six Max is one of the PlayStation players. He qualified through the MML World Championship qualifiers. So they are those players. And the table looks like this. He did start with a loss, Blue Max. And KFOG was held to a draw by Lepeg. And then Lepeg and Yaksik have drawn in the round two match as well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've obviously favouring Big Kev to get the win here. Um, this is a very strange necromantic team. He's got two block fleshies. He's got two tackle wraiths and block wolves and a block ghoul. So the build is pretty standard. But yeah, I mean, you would expect guard wraiths at least, right? I, I don't hate having one or two block flesh golems, but I really do feel like these should be guard wraiths, definitely. And at least, I mean, I would have at least one guard. I would have two guards, but, you know. And then KFOG has gone for a very, very, very dodgy team. It is called Let's Dodge Again. He's got all four catchers. He's got two dancers. He's got three dodge players and two wrestles. So he's got nine dodge players on the team. Three rerolls and an apo. I think this is the best Wood Elf build in the tournament. Uh, with the best coach in the tournament. But he did draw his first game. So, you know, a draw makes everything dodgy in the qualification. You know, a few bad dice. You know, maybe he takes seven cards this game. And uh, could be in trouble. You never know. We're not hitting the tackle. We're not hitting on the LOS with tackle. Which is... Wait a minute. He just didn't set up to take the LOS hits. He just set up not to take the LOS hits. I just realised he just didn't set up to take the LOS hits. Okay. Flip me. Flip me. I still think guard is better than tackle anyway. Regardless of the makeup of teams, doesn't even block. Oh, that I did. He think he was on defense. Maybe he thought he was on defense. I genuinely maybe just thought he was on defense. He blitz with tackle. Yeah, yeah, all of his lineals are skilled. He's got nine dodge. KFOC has nine dodge here, which is wild. He's going to roll some dice, that's for sure. And he's also got a sidestep dancer. I do prefer the sidestep dancer to any other kind of dancer. Obviously, you have to have the stripper. Million percent have to have the stripper. It could have been meme already, yep. Yep, it is a lovely build. And I saw it, and I could have also spoken to KVOG as well. And talked to him about the tournament, and asked him for advice, and I just didn't, like an idiot. I just went with uh, the build that I chose. Which, you know, it, it could be good anyway, it could still be good. There's still a chance. He rushes to one dice blitz the dancer and KOs him. K4 Gapos him. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm, I'll be honest with you, I've got a feeling I'm going to struggle to say nice things this game. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but we'll see. You know, nerves and uh, etc. Maybe. But just from these first couple of turns, I can only see one winner. We'll see. Yeah, Dark Elves are still really good, like at the end of the day. Dark Elves might be the second best team anyway. And maybe they suit how I play more anyway. If I'd taken Wood Elves, maybe I'd say, oh, why didn't I just take Dark Elves? I don't know how to play Wood Elves, you know, so. Here's what it is. Put two tackles, guys, on this to make sure he's really tackled. We just let him two plus around. Oof. Oof. I haven't played much woodies to be honest. I mean, I've barely played tabletop. I've barely played woodies. I guess K Fog is in like the mindset of I'm definitely going to win this <laughs> win this half one nil right and then try and play safe and stuff and make sure you don't overcommit and make a stupid mistake or something now. This is like this is looking really, really favourable, isn't it? Really favourable. I'm not more ready, I'm I'm going to get team painted for me. Very excited to see them as well. Gets the knockdown on the stun and yeah that's good. That was a good turn for him. It's a perfectly cromulent result. No notes. And two dice on him. It's the ball strip, doesn't follow of course, he doesn't want to get surfed. Does surf this zombie. Him. Ooh, doesn't get the pickup, re rolls it. Hands off to the dancer. Who could get instantly 2D by that fleshy, but isn't. Well, not instantly, but very quickly. Instead, we're going to 1D him twice. Two in with a fleshy and power him. Pick up with a wraith, maybe? No, he's got a wolf. He's got a wolf for the pickup. No, no, we are going for the wraith pickup. No. <laughs> Does the dodge before the pickup, though? Oh, wow. Okay, I mean. Here wouldn't have been a bad place to stand, but. My goodness. Dead, dead, dead. No regen, diced. They give you that sound effect when you're the opponent and kill somebody. It's so annoying. Didn't regen, never lucky. Is he going to rush? 
He's not gone rushing though. Wow, K Fog not carrying but honestly if I was K Fog here, I'd probably go for like the tiebreakers, right? And go for like a 4 0 win. <laughs> I'd probably be going for a 4 0 here and try and get better tiebreakers after drawing the first game. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. The way this game has gone so far, I'd be trying to get 4 0. Yeah, like it's sa it's safe to to play it, you know. Like it's safe to uh, to not go for the the four nil or whatever. But yeah, fair, fair. That's fair. It's a fair. It's a fair concern. The thing is, I think with having a draw already, right? I think I would. I think I would. I mean, it's easy to say I'd go for it, but I'd I'd certainly think about going for it, right? I'd certainly think about going for it. Yeah. I can't say what I do because it's one of those things where if you're watching it you say oh I'd do this but then when it comes to it you know, your ass might fall out and not try it right so yeah at the end of the day the win is uh, the win is the most important thing isn't it so yeah why give yourself a chance to not win Yeah, yeah, that's fair. See, bros, yeah, yeah, go for, and then go for the three nil, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Oh well. Problem is, you might roll some dice, you might not get the score at all. Yeah, replays are pretty good. Nah, safety first. Wow, say safety. There's a two plus. This mad lad. This mad lad rolling dice. Not doing anything. <laughs> it did, <laughs> yes, your, almost your whole team could, yeah. But still, with with one reroll left, transferring the ball was a bit risky. With all that, and there's no dice rolls needed to score. Sound effects are great. That was my reaction that I held in. <laughs> this is the second half. Yep. Yep, this is happening. Removal. Power Wolf. Not blocking with block and LOS. Whoa.
Dance there. I just have a dancer on the OS. Stripper, I'd have put the stripper on the OS. I mean. Nope. Removed. Classic. Classic elves out bashing their opponents. Block and tackle gets him down. to the catcher and scoring? Yeah, surely. Yeah. Surely. Surely just bang it in. Bit of protection in case it's a double one. And it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Surround everything, make it more difficult if disaster strikes. And now uh, 2 0 up, and we're going for 3 or 4. This time he does set up to hit the alloy, so I think he thought he was on defense. I think, honestly, he thought it was on defense. Because Kerfog won the toss, right, and chose to kick. I think in the first half he thought he was on defense and he did like a defensive setup. That's what I think. <laughs> Dub scores. gets the removal. Full pow. Another removal. Okay, the the feared bang out is starting to happen. Always a possibility, isn't it? Oh wow, we're just going straight for straight for it. And fails the leap. Oh, I don't know about that. Might have been a bit more conservative there. Yeah, I feel like you know you've got the time to like plenty of time to just Cut off the fleshies, spend two turns getting it. Because ah, I think it, I think it was a bit too risky. I think, like, you know, the further ahead you are, the less you have to take risks, right? That's the thing. And I feel like. If you take a couple of turns, you'll get an easier chance. Or get everyone banged out like this. <laughs> uh, you only had one ghoul. You only, you only get one ghoul unless you die metal price. And it got cast. And, oh wow, got surfed and killed. And then we've double wand and died. 
and now it becomes a zombie. Yeah, there has been a lot of bloodbath recently, yeah. Maybe cyanide have turned up the RNG. Some people some people think there's a conspiracy of the RNG. Oh, dub skulls, classic. Is he just gonna score here? He could rush and score, couldn't he? Didn't even regen either, the ghoul. Never lucky. Gets the tutty. Actually, the thing is, as well, by 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 going for that kind of defense from K Fog, it means he just gets to go back on offense again. Uh, and oh wow, all men's LOS, let's go! <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> well, just hit this guy with your tree, and you'll be all right. Oh wait, you can't. Love the old men's LOS. Only a push. Not gonna break through. <laughs> Dodge away, little man. Oh, have to reroll the pickup. Now, now we're like thinking we might actually draw this, right? Got so few players. There's actually a chance that the Necros can roll some dice, get some more bang outs. Then you know, rush there, can, Wolf can blitz, base the ball. Things can happen. Oh, yeah, this catch has gone real deep. Could have just been there, right? Or here. Yeah, five in, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, here. Could have been in here. Oh, I don't like it. He's 2-1 behind, right? He's losing 2-1. He has to pressure. He, he had to blitz this guy, I think, and base the ball. Like, yeah, it's rubbish or whatever, but... Just, you know, you've got you've to get people downfield and turn them over. Man, this is such a mentality shift because it looked so easy and going for like, you know, a 3-0 win to now, all of a sudden, making a rush with a ball and double warning. Oh no, Big Kev. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Okay, Wraith, Wraith pick up. Removal can surf there. Man, this poor wolf is like he, was, he thought he was being a good boy, and then he, he wants to go and get the ball now. Surf. <laughs> oh no, not a surf. Wait, maybe a surf anyway. Yep, surf anyway. Oh wow. This is madness. Tag him. Tag him. I guess the wolf's just got to dodge, right? Dodge, double rush, pick it up. I mean, it did have to, I think. He hasn't got anyone else who can pass. <laughs> Zombies literally can't pass. Fleshies can't pass. Wraiths can't pick it up. It doesn't matter if he gets a third. You've just got to go and rush with your wolf and pick it up. There's like literally no way. Oh no, maybe, maybe now there is. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush, rush. There is a way. Blitz the wolf. This wolf goes all the way there and then long bombs it to this wolf in the end zone. Yes. Easiest touchdown of his hour over here. There might be an intercept on not sure. Doesn't really matter. There might be further. Yeah, yeah, get in the end zone over here. Yes. He might have actually had to rush once or twice. Actually. Oh, he's going for the pass with a zombie that can't pass. Well, that was not going to score. Um, what a crazy game. Really close to losing it, KFOG, with so many players off the field. Must really suck to have seven L's removed. No, only six L's removed. Must really suck to have six L's removed. That must be almost impossible to play with that uh, those few players. But, I mean, it did get close towards the end, didn't it? That was... Uh, but I mean, yeah, it could. On another day, it could have been a four 0 win or a five 0 win for K Fog. But uh, as it happened, all those bang outs made it really close. Kind of. I mean, yeah, kind of, right? Kind of. Things happened. Uh, but there you go. Core wins. Congratulations to him. Commiserations to Blue Six Max. Um, and that's not what the table looks like. That was the table before this game. Unfortunately, the tables don't update instantly, so I can't show you the current table. But, um, yeah, calls on four points, the same as Yatsik. And they're playing each other. Ooh. So if they draw and Le Peg wins, we'll have three people on five points. And Yatsik's a very good player with Orcs. So, honestly, Cole could lose the last game. The peg could win. And, uh... Wait, no. Co yeah, Cole could lose. And the peg could win. And then... It's Yatsik and the peg go through. So, yeah. A draw, a draw for Cole. Is five points for him. Five points for Yatsik. And maybe five points for the peg. As far as touchdowns go, Cole's got the best touch, touchdown. So a draw is almost certainly good enough for Cole. Because his touchdown plus will be three, right? So his touch his touchdown plus will be better than Yatsik's. So a draw is good enough for Cole in the final game. 100% draw is good enough for Cole. Right, um, so there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.